So Tuesday's video was too long in the end. Um, I talked a lot, which I don't want to do. Um, and the camera obviously was very shaky. So to solve the camera problem, I've borrowed someone's gimbal, which hopefully will give us a nice steady picture. Um, I'm planning to do small videos that are shorter, of just nicer clips, nicer areas. Um, and I'm going to stitch them together, and I'm going to talk less, and I'm going to put music over the top of it. Um, and so today's run, I'm going to do um, another loop that's about eight miles um, round sort of Halitro, Greyfield Woods. Um, and this, yeah, so this run um, is, again, it's one of my favourite routes. Um, the only thing I'm a bit worried about tonight is um, it's quite a warm evening. And it's it's a relatively busy area anyway because uh, you get a lot of dog walkers, so we're probably going to see a lot of people, dog walkers mainly, but families too, uh, which normally would be fine. But the problem is that you know again social distancing, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so uh, okay, let's get on with the run. Yeah. So um, this is, um, well, was Somerset and Dorset Canal. Um, there's a group of people that are trying to restore it. Um, well, as much of it as possible. Uh, that bridge just there um, was uh, a bridge like that before, but somebody's, well, a group of people have restored it slowly, piece by piece. Um, you can see where the sort of water used to go through. Oh, you can't see if the camera won't follow. <laughs> Getting used to the gimbal still. Um, <clears throat> over that way where I've just come from, the canal used to go down here. And um, behind me, you probably see the water there. Uh, to be honest, I don't know the details of it, but uh, the canal I think used to go from somewhere around here, or a bit further, uh, most of the way to Bath. Um, and I think it closed they stopped using it about 1800 something like that about 200 years ago when the railway started to take over so i know they used to have collieries over this way um 
and uh, yeah, that's about all I know really. So uh, all right, I'm gonna carry on. So I don't know if you can make this out, but just, well, you can probably you can see that here. That's actually the remains of an old station platform. Because, uh, sorry about that car. Because here, this uh, actually used to be a, an old railway as well. It went under the, underneath there as well at one point. Um, <clears throat> it was one of the, um, one of the railways that were seldom used. Um, I think it closed in the 40s, something like that. It used to go from Dunkerton through here down to Halitro through um, Greyfield Woods and then join onto the main line, which would have been the GWR main line. Um, but uh, yeah, long, long time closed. So as I guessed, there's a lot of people out walking tonight, so uh, it's been okay so far because the path hasn't been too narrow, but in a minute it's going to narrow up and I'm going to have to be careful. Um, <clears throat> annoyingly, as you can see, it's really cloudy, it's been sunny, it's really hot still, but it's been sunny all day. And typically, as soon as I film, clouds come over and it's really dark. I don't know how the video's going to come out, hopefully not too bad, um, <clears throat> but we'll, we'll see, I haven't got a choice really. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see from here but this top is what I'll show you. It's actually uh, a county vest. I was lucky enough once one time to run for my county. Not that I'm quick enough really but I think it was just a bit of luck because uh, I don't think anyone else fast enough was available so they chose me so I get to keep my county vest. Even though I had a, I had a bad race that day but um, still got to keep it. And uh, also I'm wearing um, road trainers today. Even though this run is practically about 99% off-road. It's not rained for weeks and the ground is rock solid, so <clears throat> there's just no point or no need to wear off-road shoes. And to be honest, they're quite uncomfortable at the moment because they're, the ground's so hard. So it's nice to keep yourself comfy. Right, I'm going to do a bit more running along here and then uh, stop it and get to the woods.
so uh, I'm in Greyfield Woods at the moment, which is really dark. I hope it's coming out okay. The sun's just completely faded away. <clears throat> On a nice sunny day, it would look beautiful, but unfortunately, I haven't got that. But at least there's not so many people. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's nice woods here, but one of the interesting things that a lot of people don't know about, I'll go this way, is um, <laughs> back in the 80s, there was a TV program TV series about Robin Hood called, I think it was <clears throat> Sherwood Forest or something like that. And uh, most of it um, was filmed here in, uh, in these woods. I'll just go down here and show you as a little waterfall. It's not particularly impressive at the moment because, again, like a lot of places, it's dried out. <clears throat> but I think there's a scene that they, uh, they filmed here as well, that I can probably recognise. Um, see if I can show you. There we are. So my camera was <clears throat> playing up, or the, the gimbal. I've no idea what it's doing. It's a bit tricky, because uh, <clears throat> if you don't get it set up correctly, it tries to sort of track things. And I think it was trying to track that tree, just to my right, which obviously I don't want. Yeah, it's a nice little water, so I'll just go around here so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> see it from the top. Nice little place, sir. Oh, here we are. Let's see if I can get a nice, nice view of it. And there's the river going down. And that's the top of it there. Not really much water at the moment. <clears throat> Not too busy. I've seen, I've just gone past one family, but uh, luckily there was enough space. little path. In fact, actually this bit here didn't exist before, it was only the path down there. <coughs> but they've dug this up. I mean, what's great about it actually is uh, that if I want to do a good session here, like a fart lake or a hill session or something like that, um, it's quite good because it's nice and smooth and clear. And at the moment it's quite quiet. I'll show you a little hill here if you, uh, if you want a runner as well. <coughs> be a good one for hill reps. I 
know if you can tell, but it's pretty steep. Since I'm taking it easy, I'll just uh, stop for a moment and turn around. Oh, actually, you can't tell. It looks looks flat from here. <laughs> um, but yeah, lovely woods here. if you can see that oh, if you can see that that was a young DFO I think <clears throat> just ran out in front of the track I love that <clears throat> just running along and then suddenly something like that comes out Having a look. I don't know if you can see him, but he's just sat there staring at me. Ah, oh. oh, I think I lost him. I can't see.
Okay, so I just watched that back and uh, I realized that when I zoomed in to record the deer, though, whatever, um, I was actually uh, zooming in on some sort of tree or something like that. <clears throat> um, I couldn't really tell because it was quite dark, so uh, that's a bit awkward. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> one of the things I've noticed with uh, this gimbal so far is that it's quite heavy, so my arm's quite tired. Um, but it's not too bad, it just takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, in a moment, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> head over this way. Um, and uh, there's a, um, what do you call it, bridle way over there. Takes me over that way. I'm just going to go through Clutton, a little bit of Clutton, um, and then cut back. Um, <clears throat> I'll do a little bit of filming through there and uh, on the way back for a little bit. Most of this run is woodland, so it's, it's really dark today. So it's not ideal at all. I might have to come back and do it again. Um, <clears throat> And then when I get back to close to where that waterfall was, that I showed you earlier, um, <clears throat> I basically head back the same way to the car about another two miles, so I'll probably stop recording when I get to there. So I'm just going to do a little bit more and then uh, we'll uh, finish it there.
Okay, run done. <clears throat> uh, it's getting dark now, so I don't know if you can even see me. Um, I was really impressed with the gimbal. Uh, it seemed really smooth, considering how bumpy the trails were and how much my arm was moving. Uh, so hopefully it's come out well and maybe I can do a few more, a few more runs with it. Um, I might even get one if it's good enough, if I can afford one. Um, but I'm really gutted about the weather because all day it's been lovely and warm. It's been sunny, and as soon as I got to go for a run, it's overcast and grey, and miserable, and everything looked dark and dull. I'm pretty sure that if it's uh, a sunny day, it would look at least twice as good as that. So I might have to come back at some point and um, do it again. Um, but it was a warm day, though. It was 20, 23 degrees at the moment. Um, not particularly hot, but it's just the humidity makes it quite hard going. So I've kind of picked it up a little bit on the last two miles there. Um, <clears throat> But uh, yeah, that is a nice route, but it just looks so dull today, so hopefully we'll do another one soon. But uh, thanks for watching, um, hopefully see you again soon. Bye! Alright, so Tuesday's video was quite long, um, and I was talking too much, and the camera is very shaky. So today I'm going to do another run, a new route, <clears throat> about 8 miles. Um, and I've borrowed one of these, which is um, a So Tuesday's video was a bit of a disaster, I guess. It was too long and I spoke too much on it. I should do less, do less talking. So it's about, oh, it's a Thursday, it's about 8 o'clock, and I've just realised that it's uh, time to clap for the NHS. Um, <clears throat> completely forgot about that actually, uh, so I'm just going to do a quick 10 second clap on my own. Not that anyone will hear, but I don't know if I can do that with this because it's probably, no, no I'm going to stop this and do it.